Hi, Average Joe's back. Um, this time I'm going to show a transformation of a fan. I'm going to try and paint it. That means i got to take it apart. I've never taken a fan apart before, so this ought to be an experience. I'm going to take this fan. It's red right now. And I'm going to paint it this metallic chrome. The blades, I got contact paper. I'm going to do them in a wood grain. It looks fairly simple to take it apart. I'm going to take all the components part off of it. I've got to take the motor out. The only part that's kind of confusing is all them screws on the top. But it shouldn't be that difficult. I mean, I take stuff apart all the time. You may ask, why don't you just go buy a new fan? Well, I could go spend $70 on a fan or more on a chrome fan. But then what am I going to do with this one? It works perfectly good. And for the $7 I got in two cans of paint and the contact paper, I could have a new fan. So seven dollars versus seventy or more dollars, I think it's pretty clear that you know I'm going to try this first. So I'll show you later on how it comes apart. Well, it took me about a half an hour, and I got all this apart. It came apart really easy. Um, the one part that I'm a little sketchy on <coughs> is this part right here where the light kit hooks into the motor. And rather than uh, try and feed all these wires down through that, what I'm going to do is take that switch out, take that switch out, and absolutely wrap that motor in plastic and try and paint it while it's still on there because that's a lot of wire to try and feed down through there and I think it would be a hassle because I'd have to take the switch out both switches out all the way to get that out um, the other thing you might want to be aware of is this filter right here that's in the bottom part of your fan it's glued in I've already taken it apart when you take it off it's real flimsy real flimsy wire or um, screen um, be real careful that you don't tear it because you don't want to put that back together without that because it'll protect your fan plus I'm going to take the air compressor and blow out that motor because there is a lot of dust that is collected on this fan so I'm going to clean everything up and then um, and then I'm going to start painting it all right here's everything after I've washed it, everything is washed, motor's wrapped, that's ready to paint. When you wash your blades, remember these things here are not meant to get wet. So dry them off as soon as you wash them off. Dry them off because you don't want this thing to get wet then they start sagging. Uh, I don't know if you watched my other ones but you may be asking why are you painting this fan when it looks actually it looks good for a 20 plus year old fan well because the room that I just remodeled it doesn't match so I want to change this fan so now if you've ever painted with metallic paint before you've got to remember that don't try and paint it all at once because it will run guaranteed it'll run if you put too much on so make several several coats just little coats at a time little coats at a time and it'll come out just fine I'm really thinking about taking some fine sandpaper and maybe roughing this up a little bit but not too much because with that metallic paint it will show every crevice every everything will show with that metallic paint so you gotta just be careful and take your time with it. <clears throat> okay, here's what I've done so far. I've got 
the blades all covered. I used uh, the um, tack paper that you put in the bottom of drawers and I carved all that out and put it on. This is my first coat of paint. You see how you still see the red through it? Because you don't paint it all at once, you do it a little at a time. Now I'm going to continue painting this until it's silver. And then I'll show you what it's all going to look like. Okay. Here is everything after five coats of paint. Look how shiny that stuff is. You can see yourself in it. See? No runs. It all looks good. There's the light kit. Looks like metal, don't it? Here's the other here's another piece. See? Nice and smooth. There's all the fan blades. Pretty cool, huh? There's the motor. I gotta unpack it, blow it out. But there it is. All spray painted, and now all I have to do is put it back together. So we'll see it after it's back together. Oh, there it is. It's all up. It's all shiny. See the wood? Now, let's turn it on. Lights are working. Fabulous. Okay, all the lights are working. Fan. Cool, it worked. I put the lines on there uh, horizontally so you could see see how you see the lines in it. Isn't that cool? Now, I can show you real quick. If you notice it's not wobbling because the chains ain't moving. If, you're, if your fan is wobbling... The <coughs> I know some of them will include this this weight kit, but you don't need all that. <clears throat> all you need is a tape measure. Let's see if we can stop this fan. And then what you do, you take your tape measure and you hold it to the ceiling and all of your blades as you go around, it should come out even. See there, it's 12 inches. Next blade, 12 inches at the top. Come on back here. 12 inches. Next blade, come up to the highest corner, just about 12 inches, a little bit off. That's how you stop it from wobbling. If your if your measurements are off, all you have to do is take your fan and just bend the blade up a little bit. Just bend that little holder up. And then it'll come out just fine. This one here, it hasn't settled into that cradle yet. But there it is. Pretty cool, huh? And it fits the rest of the room. Dynamite. The other thing I did is I had a, a DVD rack that I built a long time ago. And I was trying to figure out what to do with it. Well, this is what I've done. Look at that. I put it in the closet. 
put it in the closet for a hideaway TV. Now this thing, I couldn't even give it away, but I think it works fine. It'll, it was, it would hold like 900 DVDs, but the slides on this, see this, see how it slides? The slides on this are no more than some ball bearings and some, see if I can get a picture of them here. Probably not. They are curtain rods. They are curtain rods that I'd taken. See that? And spread them apart. And that's what slides in and out. That way, you know, the TV's not taking up a lot of room. And all I have to do is close the closet. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. See them lines? That's cool. It is wobbling a little bit. I'm gonna have to fix that. Can't be having a wobbly fan. But now, so that is my my fix on uh, painting a fan. Wasn't real hard. Had to rough that metal up a little bit so that paint would stick, but. There it is. See that? Silver. It is wobbling. I'm going to have to fix that, but I can do that. Well, hope you uh, found this informative. This, this is your average Joe signing off.